Took you long enough, piss pot. What is this place? The sanctuary. A place we can train and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. Didn't we just escape from a dungeon? It's not a dungeon. It's a nerve center. From these tunnels, we can get anywhere in the city. All without being seen. We have eyes everywhere. Really? Seems visibility would be a problem. Wouldn't you prefer something with a view? This place has served us well for 600 years, Pisspot. Mm-hmm. And how long were you standing in the dark waiting for me? Not long. Guillaume spotted you from the bell tower. Well, it was quite the entrance. Are you mocking me? No, no. God's truth, very theatrical. Shut up. We're here. The candidate will approach. So, the son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come, but changed your mind. I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. Inna the Nubahu tukkilu kailai. Hal anta muta akkidon min? Anna kathalik. Inna hu kadnira ala muajati el muhakama. Seyakunu jaidan. Very well. Out of the dark, you come into the light. From the light, you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the Eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? Yes. Then drink. my boy you wait just here i will return when this hand reaches the top and there is to be no mischief father where is that boy i'm certain i told him six o'clock we should be well away by now father it's me i'm here
you can put your head on your own house. Come find us. We made a fine fit. I found that on the floor of my father's study. Unopened. I didn't know. Neither did my father. You must receive it today. It's very, very important. I heard you the first time. Go! I'll Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world. His sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. life as an assassin. Are you willing to take up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We looked at a media file from Afterco last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate.
In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, a stair girl acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arno came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Go to the next sequence. I've got something else for you. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data we'll have to increase your synchronization with him. And to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this. One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies, so they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map. Come on, we're in the middle of the revolution! Oh, 
Nul ne peut tromper la justice. What's the mission? Mission? Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, piss pop. I live to serve. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation? What about the priest? He'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Sivert. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. Whenever I... Murder! 
These bastards always have bodyguards. Well... Next time, do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Siver still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre! Patience. Siver is not the target. Not today. Come on. Council's waiting for our report. Fuck him out, piss bomb! You're all dirty. fight with anyone try not to draw their attention shouldn't we stop them stop them avoid them doesn't matter there's always more fanags can't save everyone piss pop well there's a cheery thought Mr. Apinon's body in a courtyard not far from here. Stabbed through the throat. Oh! Who's just a duto, monsieur? Who's your de jamais recommencer si vous m'épargnez? You call that a run? Trying not to strain your heart. I'll still be running when you're dead. Call 
call that a run. I'll still be running when you're... I can't believe this. We've not seen Seabear for a year, and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. Too many variables, too many loose threads. What happens next? Take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. Proceeds to do nothing with it. You don't seem terribly fond of him. He's a politician. Sees himself as a great peacemaker. He thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars. Bring the revolution to a happy conclusion. And convince dogs and cats to live together in peace. And that's bad? It's a self-aggrandizing pipe dream. Templars are at their weakest since Jacques de Malay. Well, the customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce, we might know that. He has a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boys ready. Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent, Charles Gabriel Sibert. 
You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets. Godspeed, citizen. 